Forget mind-bending indicators and confusing jargon. Today, we'll unlock a powerful strategy that's helped both beginners and seasoned traders generate consistent profits. Struggling to navigate the market's noise? Feeling overwhelmed by complex setups? This simple yet effective indicator strategy cuts through the clutter, delivering high-quality signals daily, without the need for premium tools or years of experience. In this step-by-step -step guide, I'll walk you through the secrets of this recently developed indicator duo. We'll combine their power to maximize accuracy and turn any market into your profit playground, from crypto to forex, stocks to futures. Ready to ditch the confusion and finally start winning? Buckle up, hit that like button, and let's dive into this game changer. Alright, without further ado, let's dive into this powerful indicator strategy. But before we start, there's one crucial tip for short timeframe trades. When using this indicator on short timeframes like 1 or 5 minutes, your stop losses will be very tight. Some brokers might have high spreads, which can easily trigger your stop loss and eat into your profits. That's why I recommend using a broker like IC Markets. They offer zero spreads, allowing you to execute precise entries and exits with minimal risk. You can find the link in the description below join now. Open TradingView account and open any market chart. I'm currently using the gold price chart on the 5 minute time frame. Click the indicators tab and search for SSL channel. Make sure you choose the one developed by Miss Tricky. Take a look at the indicator. It shows a shaded area called the SSL channel, which represents the price range of the past 200 candles. You can adjust the length in the indicator settings, but we'll keep it at 200 for this strategy. The color of the channel tells us about the trend. When the market is above the green channel and trending upwards, it could signal a potential buy opportunity. Conversely, if the market is below the red channel and trending downwards, it might indicate a sell opportunity. Let's add the NSDT HAMA candles indicator to our chart. It's like having a built-in market mood detector, thanks to its cool color-coded system. Green says buy, red says sell, and the smoother line adds another layer of confirmation. We'll adjust the moving average line length to 100, giving us a broader picture of the trend. Remember, you can customize it further if you want to explore different options later. Now that our setup is complete, let's see how these color changes and the moving average work together to guide us towards profitable trades. In the next part, we'll dive into the nitty-gritty of spotting buy and sell signals like a pro. Now that we understand the indicators, let's see how they guide us towards profitable trades. Remember, all trades carry risk, so always use stop losses and manage your position size responsibly. When the SSS channel turns green and the hammer candles indicator shows green bars, moving average lines, and hammers, it's a potential buy signal. Look for candlesticks closing above all baselines and moving averages for confirmation. If all these conditions line up, it's time to go long. Place your buy order, set your stop loss below the baseline, and aim for a 1 is to 2 risk reward ratio. As the price moves in your favor, remember to move your stop loss to break even at key points and then implement a trailing stop to lock in profits. When the SSS channel flashes red and the hammer candles paint the chart with red bars, moving average lines, and hammers, it might be time to sell. Look for candlesticks closing below all baselines and moving averages for confirmation. If all these conditions are met, place your sell order, set your stop loss above the baseline, and aim for that 1 is to 2 risk reward ratio again. As the price falls, remember to adjust your stop loss to break even and employ a trailing stop to maximize your profit potential. These are just guidelines, not guaranteed signals. Always practice your trading skills with a demo account before risking real money. To get a sense of this strategy's potential, I ran a backtest on the Solana 15-minute chart for the three months between October and December. After analyzing 100 trades, the results were promising, a 53% win rate and a staggering 395% return on our starting account. While the previous setup delivered impressive profits, its win rate could be optimized. To address this, let's introduce a powerful tool called the Stochastic Momentum Index SMI. Think of it as a signal filter that helps us identify high probability trading opportunities with better accuracy. This indicator displays a signal line, a TSI line, representing market strength, and shaded areas that predict potential trends. When the line is blue and within the shaded area, it suggests a bullish opportunity. Conversely, a red line outside the shaded area might indicate a bearish signal. These dynamic levels adjust to market volatility, making the SMI adaptable to different conditions. While not ideal for long-term trends, the SMI excels at spotting short-term trading opportunities. Imagine it as your trusty guide, helping you navigate market movements and capitalize on fleeting profit potential. Hen the TSI and signal lines stay below the middle line, 
the market is likely bearish, suggesting it might be time to look for selling opportunities. Conversely, when they stay above the middle line, a bullish trend might be unfolding, potentially opening up buying opportunities. Those shaded areas around the lines act like warning zones. When the lines venture above the top zone, the market is considered overbought, and entering a buy could be risky. Instead, keep your eyes peeled for selling opportunities. Similarly, when the lines fall below the bottom zone, the market is oversold, suggesting potential buying opportunities. The SMI's settings offer a toolbox for customizing your analysis. Let's explore the most valuable options for beginners. Want to analyze the market from a broader perspective without switching charts? The time frame option lets you do just that. If you're on the one hour chart, you can choose to calculate the SMI based on the four hour time frame for a more comprehensive view. Looking for those crucial signals before the trend takes off? The allow repainting option might be your friend. It allows the SMI to react to higher time frame data even before the current bar closes, potentially giving you an advantage in fast moving markets. Prefer your signals loud and clear? Head to trend alerts and customize the candle colors. You can ditch the default histogram bars and choose to color them based on the TSI or signal line, making the trend even more visually apparent. Ever miss those subtle trend shifts? The trend line option has you covered. It automatically plots a line between the waves of the TSI and signal line, highlighting potential trend channels for your analysis. Forget manual chart analysis. The divergence detector automatically identifies those instances where the price and the SMI disagree, potentially signaling an upcoming trend reversal. This powerful tool can be your secret weapon for spotting turning points before they unfold. Remember, the SMI is like your trusty advisor, not a fortune teller. Use its signals to confirm your analysis and identify high probability trade opportunities. Look closely at the chart. Notice how the price keeps making higher highs, bullish trend, but the oscillator is making lower lows, bearish signal. This is a bearish divergence, suggesting the upward momentum might be fading. We can use this as a confirmation signal for a potential trend reversal. When the market is trending bearish, look for the oscillator to move into the overbought zone. A red dot appearing there could be your signal to enter a short trade. Now, let's put both strategies to work. When the SSL channel flips green, hammer candles show their green dominance, and candles close above all lines, we have a potential buy signal. However, wait for the SMI to confirm by dipping into the oversold zone and flashing a green dot. Once everything aligns, enter long, place your stop loss below the baseline, and aim for that 1 to 2 risk reward ratio. Remember to move your stop to break even as profits increase and implement a trailing stop for optimal protection. Similarly, for short trades, a red SSL channel, bearish hammer candles, and candlesticks closing below all lines paint a bearish picture. Look for the SMI to confirm by entering the overbought zone, ideally with a red dot appearing. If the bearish case is strong, you can consider entering based on the red dot alone without waiting for the overbought zone reach. Once in, set your stop loss above the baseline and target the same 1 to 2 risk reward ratio. Adjust your stop and employ a trailing stop as the price falls to secure your profits. By combining these two strategies, you can achieve a multi-layered approach to trade entries and exits, increasing your confidence and potentially boosting your trading success. Remember, always prioritize risk management and adapt these guidelines to your own trading style and preferences. Now that we've completely learned this strategy, I want to test it. Wow! The results are truly impressive. 
with a 83% win rate and an 176% gain on the account, risking only 5% per trade, this strategy shows significant potential. Remember, backtesting on a single currency pair and a short time frame gives us a glimpse, but live market conditions can differ. Yet, this offers a strong foundation to build upon. Before diving in, prioritize risk management. Don't risk more than 2% per trade, and choose a broker with low spreads, like IC markets or other reputable options, to maximize your profitability. And if you're hungry for more, there's another powerful strategy waiting to be explored in the next video. See you there.